Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Stay at Home Cooking Show. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make orange and rosemary chicken with a side of asparagus. Uh, today we are cooking at 350 degrees direct. Some of the accessories we're using are the convector basket to raise up the grids and the cast iron half moon, the stainless steel half moon grid, and we're also using the perforated veggie grid. As you'll see in there, that's a cast iron sauce pot. I've already got our orange and rosemary sauce reducing. Uh, that way it's finished, you know, when the chicken and the asparagus is done too, you don't have to wait for that. Okay, so the first thing I think we'll do is let's prep our asparagus because that'll probably take a little bit longer to cook than the chicken. All we really want to do for that is drizzle it with some olive oil. Toss it together, make sure it's all nice and coated. Add a little salt and pepper. Get it nice and mixed up again. And something I'll show you too, this is a trick I learned not that long ago. You know, usually when uh, you pick up asparagus, you've got this nice, soft, and flavorful top. And as you work your way down, it gets into the kind of woody and chewy and tough to eat bit. So the, the trick is to figure out where the good eating stops and the chewy bit starts. All you have to do, you don't have to, you know, cut it this far, cut it this far, look at the color. All you have to do is hold it firm in your right hand, pull it back with your left, and it'll snap off in the exactly right spot every single time. So let's just finish up these last two. Back around. Oh. Let's get our sauce pot off so it can start to cool. Make sure to get it nice and even. Make sure they all kind of got some contact with the cooking grid. Ooh. Okay, asparagus is on. I guess I could have left those gloves on. But next we're gonna uh, prep our chicken here. And today we are using the uh, fig green egg, citrus, and dill again. It is fantastic on chicken. It's one of my go-tos. Gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the chicken first. And we're using cast iron because it usually, it, it's gonna conduct more heat up into your food and give you those really nice grill marks and make it look fancy.
down in there, you see how thick that sauce got. That's what you're looking for. As it slowly starts to cool, you know, it'll it'll get thicker and thicker. Make sure you scrape all the good bits off the side. Did you already say what was in the sauce? Yeah, I think it's three parts. If I didn't say it before, it's three parts orange juice, one part chicken stock, and then I just put these sprigs of rosemary in there um, so that they can absorb the flavor as it goes. You can put a little bit of salt in there too to enhance it. And you can pull those sprigs up. Because you don't want to eat those. If you haven't seen one of these perforated grids before, it's exactly what you want when you're doing green beans, asparagus, you know, uh, potatoes, anything that's going to be thin. You don't want to lose anybody down into the fire. It's hard, you know, it's tougher to cook it on top of those um, against a normal grid. This just gives you little holes so the heat comes through. It's porcelain coated, so it's kind of it's nonstick. But you're still going to get all that great flavor. If you wanted to, you could fish out these little pieces of uh, rosemary that are in the sauce. They're nice and soft. You can eat those, no problem. But, uh, you know, if you wanted to, you could pull some of them out. Might be able to hear the traffic in the background. Stuff starting to pick up around here. You know, throughout the stay-at-home order, we've been offering curbside pickup. You know, Springfield Metro delivery. And you know, our showroom is open. We're taking all the precautions necessary, keeping in mind social distancing. But we want to make sure that you guys know that whatever you need, we'll be here to take care of you. Couldn't tell I'm a fidgeter. I, 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 
it's hard for me to just stand back and watch, so. A lot of people give me a hard time because I click the tongs all, every chance I get, but how else are you gonna know if they're turned on? <laughs> so. Who doesn't do that? <laughs> sit pretty good while that chicken finishes cooking I think our asparagus is pretty much done you don't want to overcook it because if you get that char it's going to start to get a little bit bitter and what you want to get out of asparagus is kind of a mild a little bit of a sweet flavor out of, um, out of asparagus that's in season and if you overdo it you'll you'll lose a lot of that that freshness I usually give it a little wiggle. You want it to stay not firm, but have a little bit of substance to it. You know, I think that one's about done. You know, that one's done. You don't want it to just droop straight over. If, you know, if it was drooping down like that, you cooked it too long. All right, let's bring our, bring our platter over. This is gonna be tricky. So. out our chicken and get it right over the center heat there and get it finished up. Jesus. 
soft spot is still hot. This is how easy it is. It's just chicken, asparagus, rosemary, orange juice. Meal cooked entirely on the big green egg. Some more rosemary on top. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Keep us in mind with all your barbecue and outdoor living needs. Uh, we'll see you next time.